It looks like we're live. Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. Hello, hello. Starting just a few minutes early. My name is Corey. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to this Monday's live stream here from Tokyo. Wow, look at all the, the flickering streetlights. It's not matching the, the frequency or the frame rate of this, uh, the camera. Uh, Rosila, good morning. Generic Blue Ninja, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Jay Karen, how are you? Good morning. Andrew Daniels, good morning. Uh, hi, Mom. How are you? Good morning. Guys, let's get some hearts in the chat for my mom, Kijeme. Good morning, Daniel from Portugal. Hello, hello. Mike Hawk Rand, how are you? Cylon, good morning, good morning. Bunny in the house. What's up, Bunny? Um, Jasmine, how are you? Yeah, Kev the Red, what's up? Gloria, good morning. How are you? Hello, hello. Let me, um, sorry, I was, I was trying to show a scene of the station here and uh, this bus pulled up and <laughs> blocked my view. I'm outside of Nakameguro Station here in uh, kind of like the southern central area of Tokyo. It's very windy today, guys. Uh, Michael, how are you? In uh, how are you? Kanfe, Sakura Kitana, Corgano, Texas. Skip, what's up? Nintendo, ohayou gozaimasu. Yeah, I was trying to show this view <laughs> like while, uh, while starting up the stream since I'm, you know, a few minutes early. Amy, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, this is a uh, Nakameguro station. That's the Hibiya line over there um, above the street. Love the in-depth supermarket tour. Oh, you're welcome, Kev. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. It's very long. Um, Michael Cameron, how are you? Ashton from Idaho in the house. Ashton, what's up? Good morning, Ashton. Chuckles, how are you? Uh, Mike Hawk asks, Windy? Breakfast burrito? Uh, unfortunately, never breakfast burritos, uh, unless I make it myself, which I don't, because I usually don't eat breakfast, like breakfast breakfast. Um, but yeah, it, today's windy. It's very chilly. It's supposed to drop back down to 5 degrees Celsius, like, overnight tonight. Why? Why? It was so nice and warm. I didn't have to use my heater for, like, a week. Now it's back to cold. Uh, Barla Vaughn, good morning, how are you? Uh, Nintendo says, yeah, the supermarket tour was awesome. Yeah, man. Um, it's two hours, I'm so sorry it's long, but uh, you know, hopefully it, it gives people a very good idea of what a Japanese supermarket is like. Not all of them are the same, but they're all you know, similar. It's like comparing Safeway to Food Line to Giant. They're, you know, it's roughly the same, but you know, they might have different things. Uh, D, good morning. It's Andy. Hello, hello. Sasha in the house. What's up? And you're live, uh, loud and clear. Thank you. I appreciate that info. Uh, there's a, um, a crosswalk over here. Can you see all the people crossing now? Underneath the tracks. I love it long. I love it long too. Sometimes girthy, but not always. You know, you can't. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, Pink T, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, so this is uh, Nakameguro Station. Those people are all leaving Nakameguro Station, basically. Uh, Kayana, how are you? Follow my obsession, good morning. Yeah, what's up, guys? <laughs> how you doing? I'm standing outside of this bus stop. Uh, Aloha, Jason, how's it? What's up, brada? Yep, so guys, today, this morning, we are gonna be checking out the Sakura here at uh, Meguro River. So if you guys ever come here, Meguro Station is a good place to start, but I also recommend starting at Nakameguro Station um, because it's, it's actually much closer to the stream. Um, Japanese love corn, true, very true. 
Um, that, that's basically the takeaway from that video is just Japanese love corn. There's like corn in every salad, except for the ones that had seaweed. Uh, Jeff Kennedy, ohayou gozaimasu. Genki desu ka? Hai, genki desu. Uh, Dr. Debo, how are you? Good morning. Top of the morning to ya. Uh, Olivia Bruner uh, says, good morning. I just accepted an offer to teach in Kofu starting in August. Hey, congratulations. Yay. Yay, Olivia. You're going to be working in Kofu. That's awesome. Yeah, Skip says, let's go. So guys, before we start the stream, click the cogwheel, change it to 1080p resolution. We're streaming in 1080p. Uh, I like that. Is this old guy looking for the bus or is he looking at me? Okay. Um, yeah, make sure you click it, uh, click the cogwheel, change it to 1080p. We are streaming in 1080p resolution. Um, grab some drinks, grab some snacks. Uh, what else? Um, as I'm walking around, if we start buffering because of a low like signal or whatever, oh, he's catching a taxi. Um, because of like bad cell reception, um, I do apologize in advance. Uh, you know, just hang tight. We'll, usually the stream picks up on itself. Um, and then also, um, if I miss people's comments and chats here, like, you know, people saying hi, goodbye, uh, asking me questions, replying to something I said and I miss it, if I miss it, and which, is, which happens all the time, uh, I do apologize in advance. And today we are going to be counting cats and dogs. Hopefully we see some cats. I saw a ton of dogs as soon as I arrived here. Like, I saw like 10 dogs already. So uh, we're probably going to see a lot of people walking their dogs. Um, the Nakara Meguro, uh, Naka, I'm sorry, the Meguro River, um, a very beautiful cherry blossom sakura viewing spot. And uh, it's also a very nice place for people to walk their dogs. So anyways, guys, let's turn this camera around. Let's get going. All right, we good? All right, uh, Drake, how are you doing? Um, corn, yeah, it's a cor corn. It's got the juice. Uh, two degrees Celsius in Idaho, my lord. I hope everyone's safe uh, because of all the, the storms and stuff. Uh, Mel, what's up, Mel? How you doing? And Joey in the house. I'm surprised you're not here at the end. Okay, uh, Kathy, three, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, let's go. Good vibes to the Neko count. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Corn with a K. Something takes a part of me. Sandra C, good morning. Mary Jane, good morning. Sage, how are you? Peter Jab Attack in the house, what's up? Yeah, so this is, uh, you know, it's, it's sunny, but it's partly cloudy. So there's times where the sun will disappear and it gets really cold and it's very windy. Copyright strike, damn it. Um, Fernanda, how are you? Costa's World of Music Memories, Jim and Harriet, good morning. Yep, we're keeping it moist. I hope you all are keeping it moist. Yeah, I just want to show you guys uh, the crosswalk situation. We'll look at it one more time before we head down to the Meguro River and check out all the sakura. So the title of this video is the, the Sakura season is ending. That's because it is. It's starting to wrap up. Uh, we, we are past the peak here in the Tokyo Kanto area. And so a lot of the petals and stuff are falling. Um, so a lot of trees actually don't even have petals. Misty Davis, good morning. How are you? Sid Pernicious in the house. Uh, Peter, you're in LA. Wow. That's an absolute shithole. Yeah, I feel you on that. Okay. Yeah, keeping it moist. All right, so when you come out of Naka Meguro Station, just down this road, just literally right over there is a, a bridge. And that is where the Naka Meguro, sorry, I keep saying Naka Meguro River. It is the Meguro River at Naka Meguro Station. And this is Monday, but there's a lot of uh, tourists and stuff already. Like walking around here, I, I saw so many tourists. Um, every, this is like pretty much the last chance for people to check out the cherry blossoms. Uh, Scarecrow, good morning. Is the Japanese corn blurred out? Sometimes if they're having sex and we see genitals, like corn genitals, um, yes. 
So there's a welcome sign here. It says uh, Megiddo Cherry Blossom with Coronavirus. I don't want to see that. Uh, keep good manners. Cherry Blossom viewing manners. To, pre to prevent falling accidents, please follow the staff's instructions and keep move along, moving along the one-way path. Okay, all right. Basically, oh, we've got already first dog here. Black dog. Inu one. So you can see there's already a group of people here. Uh, good morning, Sherry. How are you? How long do cherry blossoms last? It's usually from um, kind of like the end of March to like the first or second week of April. But uh, this year, because it's warmer and climate change and stuff, the, the cherry blossoms start to bloom earlier and finish earlier. So yeah, look at all these people trying to take pictures. It's because right over here. Yeah, Cylon, I saw that too. Yeah, with coronavirus, I'm not sure if that was the right choice. They should have just said like, viewing cherry blossoms during the pandemic. There's a lot of people here already. Let me try to zoom in down here. Yeah, so uh, because it's windy and it's the end of the season, you can see all the, the see the cherry blossoms? Yeah, you can see it kind of falling to like snow. Yeah, look at all that. Yeah, it's still, there's still some on the trees, you know, but it's not 100%. So what's nice is you can actually just follow this river all the way down. There's a walking path on both sides. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go all the way down to Meguro Station today. And we're going to scope this out. This is a pretty cool view. The nice blue sky and stuff. Sin, how are you? It says, uh, how does it smell? Um, there is no smell. Yeah, so if you look around, you can see the petals are like just blowing around in the street and stuff. You'd love to canoe the canal? <laughs> nice, Joey. At least here you won't sink. So yeah, let's uh, follow this down. I hope you guys got drinks and snacks, like I said earlier. Uh, welcome to the stream for those of you tuning in. This is pretty much the last viewing of the cherry blossoms this week. Um, I think after this week, like maybe 90% of these blossoms will be on the ground. They will not be here anymore. That boy scooting, he was scooting. He was in those little rental. What's that sound? Yeah, he's in one of those rental e scooters. A ramen pharmacist in the house. How you doing, man? Yeah, look at all the petals. There's just petals everywhere. Kelsey in the house. What's up? We were talking about corn. It's got the juice. It's got the juice. Yeah, along the side of the road here, there's you know some some shops, just in this one section. As you as you go down further, it's just residential, and there's some park like park kind of area. But yeah, um, it's really nice that they have uh, these pink lanterns that hang up at nighttime. The lanterns are on, which is really cool. I don't know why they did this. They put rope here. And they're telling people not to sit and stuff. I don't know. I guess to prevent people from hanging out here. I have no idea. <laughs> corn <laughs> or corn. Uh, Anne Ian, how are you? It says, can you take us to your favorite restaurant? 
Um, I don't really have a favorite restaurant, but also uh, I can't really live stream inside um, for several reasons. First of all, signal strength. Like uh, reception is always terrible indoors or underground or in elevators and stuff. Um, the other part is uh, many restaurants and stuff don't want people filming inside of it because of uh, showing customers' faces and stuff like that. Kiana asks, how was your weekend? Um, it's really good. Uh, it was. Uh, well, Saturday I work. I work every Saturday. But yesterday, Sunday was nice. I watched the, the Dungeons and Dragons Honors Among Thieves, uh, Honor Among Thieves movie, which uh, I do recommend. It's very funny, especially if you uh, uh, have played D&D before, which I have. Back in the day, back in like 93, 94, 95, it was only second edition back then. I think now it's like fifth edition. Anyways, let me uh, zoom in a little more here. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. Yeah, I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Oh, you're probably still enjoying the weekend. Look at all that. Look at all the Sakura petals. Oh, God. Yeah, you see that? There's just like petals everywhere. But if you look at this tree, like you can see this tree, it's kind of sparse now. Like, like some of the leaves and stuff are starting to show through. Most of the pink, uh, sorry, most of the petals, the white petals have fallen off in a lot of different areas. So it's not fully white, but still really beautiful. You saw a toidle? Is there a toidle? Oh, there's ducks. I see ducks. There's some ducks chilling. Uh, Nintendo asks, what Japanese term could you use to refer to the beauty of the trees? Would kire make sense? Yeah, kire. Kire, um, steki, sugoi, kakoi. Um, yeah, kire, kire works, which means just pretty. Yeah, alright, let's uh let's continue this way. There's there's a lot of these bridges that cross the river. And it's you know good photo opportunity for people. Uh, it looks nice when you see the petals falling. Like there, can you see the petals falling? Like that's just so cool. Fawn Marie, aloha, how's it? Keith Savage, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Glenn, nice to see you here. Yeah, super duper kide. This one over here, it looks like, uh, this is the, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the eight, eight layer sakura. It has like eight petals. But it looks pretty uh, empty now. The branches are all gnarly and stuff. But yeah, if I if I look closer here, you can see this is a type of sakura. Yep, the petals falling is so magical. Yeah, Peter says, Tokyo and Seoul, it's a miracle how clean those cities are. Very true. Uh, Tokyo and Seoul, um, for a number of years, they've always won like best like subway system and stuff like that. Best city award. Um, just for like cleanliness, modernness and all that stuff. Okay, let's, uh, we're going to have to continue. We're going to have to go up and across. <laughs> Flower snow, pog. Poggers. You had a burrito an hour ago? I'm jealous, Bunny. All right, maybe we can get a good view um, from up above. Yeah, I hope chat's doing well. Um, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, I can see all the pedals. Flowing downstream, look at that.
Yeah, not the the peak bloom has ended, guys. But look, look at that. That one's like just green. Yeah, not a lot on that one. Ooh, a wet burrito. I love wet burritos. They're so moist. Speaking of moist, if you guys want some moist fam merch, type in exclam exclamation merch in the chat. We've got a uh, moist fam t-shirts and coffee mugs and stuff that you all can get and show the world how moist you are. Oh, thank you, Kelsey. Yeah, oh, this is kind of a cool view looking down here. This is still Meguro River. Only fans? Yep. I should link that. There's some stones down there. So you can't really go down here. You can't go down into the, the canal itself. It's too dangerous. But yeah. Uh, Kathy says 152 watching. So let's get those thumbs ups. Yeah. Let's see it. Um, how many of you in chat have been to Tokyo and have been to the Meguro River during Sakura season? Press uh, one in the chat that you've been to Sakura season Meguro River. Hey, Sharice, how are you? You wish you could see the cherry blossoms too? Yeah, hopefully you have a chance to come next year. Uh, right now, is it's kind of too late unless you maybe go north like Tohoku area it might still be like peaking right now <laughs> Mel really you had some you had some uh, odd looks at the gym that's hilarious too broke out to settle for going to see them in DC I mean that's okay the DC ones are pretty nice when the, especially when they're like peaking and it's just like full full bloom Yeah, on the other side of the street, um, it's more of those, uh, the eight petal ones. So you can see it's like kind of already fallen. The trees are all kind of, yeah, looking dead there. Not a single one, not a single person has seen the cherry blossoms along the Meguro River ever. Uh, Follow my obsession he says I've been to Tokyo, but not to Meguro River for Sakura, uh, Sakura viewing. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people go to Ueno Park. That might be number one, and then Meguro River is usually number two. Uh, Kelsey says I'm going to be in Toronto. Too late to see the cherry blossoms in Hyde Park. Oh no! Like just past it. That sucks. I'm sorry. Uh, Corgano's been here. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I mentioned before, um, you know, it's going to be like residential. So like in this area, it's just apartment buildings and homes and stuff. Yeah, I don't know how much it costs to live around here, but probably expensive. Just because, you know, the view and the access to this river specifically, and you're really close to Shibuya and everything else down here in this area Meguro is just yeah expensive <laughs> it's mid-may wow mid oh that makes sense because you guys are like kind of more north um i think tokyo is kind of like on the same latitude as uh, hmm, I don't know, uh, Denver, <laughs> I don't know, um, California, kind of, like, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be, like, so late, uh, there's these other ones here, this is, uh, pear blossoms, I believe, it's on the other side of this fence, so I can't really see. Dr. Debo, you've only been here in mid-May. Okay, so you missed the, the sakura. So here's, here's some very full sakura still. This is all still in bloom. Let me change my camera angle or camera. There we go. Oh, uh, well, you can see some of the leaves are, are starting to come out because the petals have fallen from this branch. But a lot of the other branches are still pretty full.
Is tropical the right word? <laughs> Cylon, you might be able to afford a mud hut on the city outskirts somewhere. Maybe. Here's another bridge. Yeah, there's this kind of like open park area over here. Uh, oh, we've got a kind of an egret or something. Oh, there's two birds that are like fighting each other. Oh, this is like an epic battle. The bigger one, the bigger one up top was chasing the bottom one like out of the area. Like this is my territory. Um, and then down below, looks like there's three down here. This is kind of cool. Jason T in the house, how you doing? Uh, Keith says, Tokyo is like New York City on price scale. Um, I would disagree with that. I would say New York City is way, way more expensive on average. Yeah, many birds. Uh, Michael says, I would assume there are homeless people. Where do they all hang out? Um here <laughs> well there's all these these birds sorry let me try to change the angle here why is it not cooperating that's interesting i've never seen this many uh egrets it's funny they're making the sounds. Can you hear them? Very cool. Uh, we, we saw one Inu. We already saw a black dog. Let me uh, continue along the way here. We just haven't seen a cat yet. Make a bird friend, Corey? I should, I should go down there and pull down my pants and be like, look at this little tiny worm. Y'all can, y'all can share. Uh, this is, this is pretty interesting. Let me zoom in on that. Hey, Vin Vin, how are you? Sorry, I was just looking at the petals on this branch right here. Very pretty. Yeah, along the way, um, there's some other flowers too. Some people, they decorate like the outside area with like some nice flowers and stuff. Uh, I would look here, but this uh, person's taking photos right there. Thanks for hogging up that whole space. The birds would peck my pecker off. My God, pecker, how obscene. We use the word tallywhacker here, um, not pecker. Oh, so I just realized down here, look at all this. Look at all the petals. Look at the flowers. It's a nice uh, carpet of petals. You can wear a catnip coat. Yeah, uh, Nintendo asks, uh, which ward is Megiddo River in? Uh, apologies if this was already asked. I don't know. Is this Setagaya? Is this part of Shibuya? I actually don't know. I don't really ever come down here. Oh, there's another dog. There's a like a chihuahua in that stroller. <laughs> Cute chihuahua. Yeah, so that's Inu number two, guys. Still no cats. Yeah, no old lady sweeping them up yet. Wow, this is nice. Nice view here. A 
Look at all those petals just floating on the surface. And you can see the petals flying around a little bit. Hey Christian, how are you? Says, uh, what? That, part, that peculiar, handsome guy, Corey, with the golden voice. Uh, said, konnichiwa. Nice. Konnichiwa. Oh, so it is Setagaya, Meguro, and Shinagawa wards. Okay, so Meguro is its own ward. I guess I forgot about that. But Setagaya is nearby. Shibuya is nearby, but I don't think the river is. Uh, Jim and Harriet, thank you, with the $5, guys. Hearts and chat for Costa's World of Music, Jim and Harriet. They say, for a vending machine drink. Thank you, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. I'm going to have to uh, look for a vending machine along the way. Uh, Sasha says, ads are now a thing in live streams, and I hate it. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I have no control over that. <laughs> um, I think it's just, if... If the stream or the video is monetized, then YouTube has full control over like the live stream stuff. I mean, I can I can control if there's like midstream roll like ads that roll, but um, when I set it up, I never ever look at that because I never had to before. So pretty. Alma, how are you? Wow, yeah, there's just cherry blossoms everywhere here and then over there too. I'm crossing, this taxi just kept going, it almost hit me. Yeah, if you get YouTube premium, you'll never see ads, that's true. Uh, Peter says, are you still doing an apartment tour when you get to 100K? So a lot of people probably didn't hear my updated news about that but uh no i've decided there will not be a, an apartment tour video ever and probably from now on like from here on out as long as i'm going to be a youtuber uh, i am not going to do an apartment tour it's just like i need to separate like my private life from what i broadcast you know what i mean and I, I do have my me days where I, I tune out and stuff but like yeah my home is my sanctuary um in the last few years, like last three, four years, five years, with uh, my terrible anxiety that, that kind of kicked up, um, I, I just, I need that private space for myself. And so, yeah, anyways, I'm sorry for those people who are waiting, like, oh, 100K, Corey's going to show us his house. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm sorry. It's a solid call. Yeah, it, it, I mean... Like, I would like to show you guys because it is kind of interesting to see, but at the same time, like I said, uh, I just, I, ne I need to draw some boundaries uh, between private life and my broadcast public life. Yeah, so the apartment, it's my sanctuary. <laughs> Jason says, apartment tour video is just another way of saying, hi, I'm instigating my own burglary. Come on down. That's pretty funny. Um, that does happen to some people. Yeah. They show a little too much and uh, they get targeted. But yeah, so anyways, yeah. Let's uh, keep going. Yeah, Meguro. Um, I don't know, like outside of this river area, I don't know too much about Meguro. I just know that there's a lot of expensive housing and stuff. Maybe if you ever move out. Yeah, I will move out. I will move out. Uh, I, I need to move to a place that's pet friendly because I want a dog. I need a dog. And if I have a dog, I'll definitely like live stream with the dog and you know, whatnot. But uh, I'm just not going to show my house. Um, oh. 
look what we have here. This is the azaleas. Yeah, these are still buds here. They haven't opened, but these are opened. Yeah, cool. There's a big park over here. Um, let's keep going this way. We'll keep walking down. What kind of dog would I get? I don't know, Jason, that's a very good question, but probably like a medium to small dog. I would love a big dog, but yeah, do you, you know how it is in Japan, like, Unless you have like a big apartment with some like a yard space or something like it's like probably not so good. I don't know. I'll have to play it by ear, but yeah, probably medium, medium size or small size. Pick a flower. Hey, Astria, how are you? Uh, I, no, nah, I don't, I just want to let them live. Let the flowers live. Intenjiro says, uh, do you have a favorite Japanese meal or restaurant? A food tour could be a cool 100k special. Um, I do. Kind of like I have places where I like to like go food shopping or like even just look at food. But I don't know. It's like it's hard because live streaming indoors. Like I'm not I'm not one of those cool streamers that has like a, a cool um, bonding backpack you know like a gun run backpack and they can stream on the train or in underground and they they have no issues but that's so expensive to have i, I know someone that has that they are a twitch streamer and they pay three thousand dollars a month for for all of their equipment and sim cards and just everything um it's really expensive Hey, Neil, how you doing? Says, uh, I'm landing on the 7th. Any other Hanami spots blooming by then in Tokyo? Just head to Sendai. I don't know what your plan is. Um, Ueno Park, Megiddo River, it's going to look like this. Like, they're still blooming, but on the, by the 7th, I don't know how much is going to be left. And then outside of Tokyo, I just don't really know. Sendai's up north, so you probably still have a lot of full bloomage up there. Yeah, I mean, obviously it doesn't have to be 3K a month, but my, like, the person I know, they, that's what they were paying. Because um, they had, I think they had like four different network connections, and so you're paying for like four different SIM cards or pocket Wi-Fi's per month, plus the Live View server um, that they have, that they were using for the bonding. Um, it's a subscription service, so, so you have to pay $1,000 for that device. Then you have to pay, like, I forget how much um, for the monthly subscription to even have it running. And yeah, so it was just like all this stuff that just added up. And I think she was, it was a she, she was paying like 3000 a month or something, like o almost 3000 There's obviously cheaper ways to do it too. But uh, yeah, like I said, I am not cool. Uh, I'm also not rich, which is why I'm trying to change my career. And hopefully maybe get into you know something that makes money and then once i have money i can actually maybe build my own bonding thing using like a raspberry pi or a jansen thing anyways yeah i can't even afford to get like a second phone to like view chat i have to just do everything on this one phone but anyways yep things will pick up uh, this is kind of nice. If I zoom down this little thing here, if I zoom down there, I can see like petals falling. Sate, how are you? It says, what's the advantage of her setup when what you are doing seems perfectly adequate? Oh, she's a Twitch streamer and she did a lot of stuff indoors. A um, lot, a lot of indoor streaming and um, not just that, but like streaming for like 12 hours straight every day, you know what I mean? Twitch IRL streaming is way different from what I do. Yeah, so, you know, streaming every day, she needed like lots of data, lots of different SIM cards and pocket Wi-Fi devices and subscriptions and all that stuff.
Amaranth? No, no, no. It's like, this is someone that lives in Japan. Uh, look at all these petals. Very nice. Yeah, Nintendo, you should. It's, uh, it's very handy. It shoots in 4K. Um, yeah, I think the battery life is the only issue that I have with that. It's like roughly an hour and change, like an hour, 15 minutes or so, and then it like fully drains. You can get like battery extension accessories for it and stuff, um, but it makes it look long, like longer. So um, what I usually do is I have a, a power bank and then I just run a cable to it instead while filming. Wow, look at all the pedals. Hey Martha, how are you doing? Uh, you're gonna visit Japan within the next two years. Hell yeah, nice. Uh, Heather Fling, nice to see you. Daniel and Yuka, what's up? Good morning. Yeah, it gets it overheats and stuff. My setup is basically the, the cheap setup and it's also just efficient, like it works. You know what I mean? It, it gets the job done for me to show you guys around like the outside. Look at that. It's like ra it's like snowing sakura petals. Wow. Is the water level normally about what it is there? Yeah, it's just, I don't know. This is like one to two feet deep, maybe mostly. Um, but during like rainy season, uh, tsuyu and stuff, or like when a typhoon comes, yeah, it definitely, um, it gets a little, like a little bit higher. You can kind of see like the water line, I guess, up there. Oh, we've got a little dog here. This is Inu number three. Yay. Jimmy D from the NYC. How's it going, man? Thank you for tuning in. Camino, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm now at Meguro Gawa here. Still going strong. Um, a lot of petals are falling though. But that's interesting, the other place, wow, not so many left, huh? Yeah, just remember to thumbs up. It's half a dog, is it? I guess. Yeah, what I like about coming here now on a Monday, there's like not that many people. <laughs> but on the weekends, this place is absolutely insane. Um, the largest Tokyo, uh, what do you call it? Starbucks brewery is nearby here too. And um, it gets so insane on the weekends because everyone's coming here to look at the cherry blossoms and then uh, go to the Starbucks to basically uh, sit on their outdoor balcony and try to look at the, the Starbucks, uh, sorry, look at the Sakura while drinking Starbucks. And the wait time is like between 240 minutes to like 340 minutes or something like that. It's ridiculous waiting time. Wow, look at that. Very pretty. What would I name my dog? Uh, Michael, that is a tough question. I really don't know. I've thought about this for a while and I, I think it just depends on when I meet the dog for the first time and what feels right at the time. Uh, Anella, good morning. Yeah. Anyways, let's uh, continue. Oh, I see a, a dachshund up ahead. That's Inu number four. Inu number four. Dogs come pre-named, adopt, don't shop. That's true too. That's true too. But we'll see. 
I definitely will not get it from a pet shop. Name your dog Gilbert. <laughs> I don't want to name it Gilbert. That's a cool name, but yeah. Anyways. Yeah, it's an Inu, Inu day. You're gonna name, you named your dog and a chicken Katsu? Oh my God. Hello. Cute. Beautiful. Homegirl Roxy, how are you? <laughs> Ramen Pharmacist says, Nako Megadu Daikanyama area seem to have the most cute small dog pets per capita. Maybe. Oh, look at all these garbage trucks. It's like garbage day in this area. They're going out. Now, those are all just normal trash trucks. Uh, today's Monday, so it might be just like normal trash collection day for this ward. That's kind of what they're doing. They look like just normal trash trucks. I have to go here to the crosswalk. All right, and we kept the cross. Oh, we got a lot of kids coming. All right, hold on. Let me turn my camera to the side. Okay, so here's some more stuff along the bridge here. Wow, this is like drooping down over the railing. I think that's what makes this the Meguro scene here so cool is uh, a lot of the trees are trimmed on the inside or on the outside, I guess. And then they fold inside like downwards. So it's very nice, very pretty. Who has smaller cars, Japan or Europe? I would say Europe. Japan has a lot of small cars, but like the ones in Europe are one of the, like the, those little like tiny, tiny ones. Um, yeah, Europe for sure. Yeah, Kakoi AF. How many phones do you think is down there? I don't know, probably like two or three. Guaranteed people drop their phones and stuff or cameras on accident. Wow. Uh, looking down there I love how the Japanese school kids wear those little hats yeah I think they were like part of a kindergarten or something um, Margaret says I sent you 15 via PayPal please get a drink on me oh thank you guys let's get some hearts and chat from Margaret arigato gozaimasu yeah very pretty very pretty but this is going towards Meguro so we're actually not far from Meguro Very pretty. Damn, that guy was smoking that cigarette like a J. He was hitting it. Taking that deep drag looking at the Sakura.
It's a downward dog yoga pose. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, here's looking at it from the inside part here along the wall. It's very cool. Very, very nice. Ah, I'm so glad that you guys uh, got to see some Sakura this season on my live streams, like uh, this week and last week. You know, this is such a huge thing here in Japan that, you know, I definitely want to share all aspects of Japan. Well, you know, as many as I can, um, realistically, on a live stream. So, yeah, I'm glad that uh, Sakura are outdoors and it's just something that we all can enjoy together and walk around and... You know, just, just enjoy. Ah, so cool. You're welcome. Follow my obsession. Hoa ha, how are you? Yeah, and I always like looking at the petals on the surface of the water. It's just, there's something about it. I don't know. It's very mesmerizing. Gotta love AJ. Who's AJ? Fawn. Who's AJ? You wonder what the air smells like there? So here's, um, here's a misconception I think that people have about Sakura. Um, sakura really is not fragrant. There's like no smell to it really. Um, I forget which one is fragrant. I, I want to say like peach blossoms, but like is it peach or plum blossoms i forget um they're like kind of fragrant but not much like you have to put your nose close to smell it but if i was to put my cl nose close to any of these sakura it just smells like like plant like a leaf <laughs> you know so a lot of those uh foods and stuff that are like oh yeah sakura flavored chips like wh what does that mean it's they usually add some kind of other thing like some kind of floral thing rose or something you know some rose extract or something to make it taste floral but it's actually not sakura ah uh, this is nice i could just hang out here all day and like watch watch these petals kind of flying around your dog's name is boo boo that's cute There was a news story here that said the U.S. Uh, said Sakura have a strong fragrance. What the hell kind of a lie is that? <laughs> that is a lie. I am, I am surrounded by Sakura right now and I smell just clean air. Like nothing. I smell nothing. Huaha, hi, how are you? I said hello. You don't have to keep saying hello <laughs> repeatedly. How would they know in the U.S.? Yeah, like, is it just because they uh, went to the D.C. ones or something? I don't know. Yeah, just, you know, just, you know, oriental orientalism, just trying to sensationalize something that people don't really know about uh, within the U.S. Ah, oh, this is so nice. Hey, back in the clay, how are you? Stay hydrated. Yes, we do have to uh, do that. This is very cool. The, the scene of just like petals falling and you can see, oh, there's children coming. Ah, uh, but look at all those petals. It's very nice. Yeah, they need to cite their sources for reals. Ginkgo being fragrant? Is that fragrantly bad? No. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, look away from the kids. <laughs> Screaming murder hornets. <laughs> murder hornets. Oh my god, everybody. Nigero. Run. The screaming bird. Birds like kids, kids, kids.
Yeah, ginkgo does have a smell, and that's it's not the, the leaves or the tree itself, it's actually the berries. And um, so like the berries, the berries, some people say smell like vomit or like rotting something. Uh, and it kind of does, it does have that pungent kind of acidic like vomit smell to it. Yeah, Chris, that just sounds like some sensationalized crap on the news. Uh, Anne, how are you? It says, uh, how do we know when you will go live? Don't want to miss the next one. So I usually announce it um, on my YouTube channel in the community page. There's like a community tab. You know, if you look at the top of my channel, there's like uh, uh, videos and shorts and live. And then there's community. The community tab is where, sorry, uh, the community tab is usually where I announce it ahead of time, like one to two days in advance. Um, I also announce it ahead of time on my Discord, which is where I hang out all the time and stuff. So yeah, it's usually just a Discord and uh, the community tab on YouTube. And then that way uh, you'll see the, the video announcement and there's like a little notify me button. And so you can just click that and... Um, yeah, the Discord is not for children. But if you are 18 or older and, you know, you're a chill person, you can come hang out with me and the Moist Fam friends in Discord. Uh, there's some more people over here. Uh, nude, there's no nudes. Sorry, nudes are not allowed. All right, Hoa, if you say it one more time, I'm gonna have to time you out. Shabu Shabu Shushu in the house. What's up, Shab? What's up, Shushu? Very pretty. Uh, BX Dolph, how are you? Going to Tokyo tomorrow or Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, they will be. Um, but I recommend you coming out as soon as possible, like go to Ueno Park, go to Megudo River. I'm at the Megudo River now. You want to do it like ASAP. Just look down here. Wow, this is a nice view. Michael says, wow, you have 10 followers on TikTok. I know, right? Isn't that amazing? Wow. Uh, well, I've said their name multiple times, so if they're just gonna keep spamming, um, it's just not good, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, Kelsey says, still counts as spam. It's just like repeated spam. I've said their name every time, so anyways. Um, yeah, this is, wow, such a beautiful, beautiful view, guys. I'm just enjoying this so much. Let me try to change the angle here. Yeah, I could just look at this like all day. You guys doing okay, chat? What are y'all drinking? I need to get a drink. Let's go find a vending machine. Yeah, follow my obsession, exactly. Yeah, the, the weather, it's, it's a little bit chilly when the wind blows and especially when the sun is not shining, but uh, yeah, not bad. Yamino, how are you doing? Long time no see. Oh, you got a Coca-Cola, sweet. Daniel and Yuka says, I still think Sakura will be around for a bit longer. It hasn't been um, super windy recently. Oh, it's windy today. I'm out now, it's windy. 
Sasha, you're drinking D's nuts. Who makes that? Coca-Cola? Cherry Coke Zero and water. That sounds good. Oh, some ads. I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. A Coke and a bologna sandwich. A bologna Sammy. A bologna. Bologna Sammy. Sipping on Celsius. Ooh. Ooh. Irish whiskey and Coke Zero. John, that sounds pretty good. Misty drinking that iced tea. Nice. Is it like uh, sweetened or unsweetened? Follow my obsessions drinking a coffee with vanilla creamer. I like it. Anita, how are you? Uh, we've been streaming for about an hour. So yeah, you're a little late and I will be ending roughly in like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Jason's uh, got no drinks, but the new Dr. Pepper strawberry, what? New Dr. Strawberries and cream flavor is delicious. Gonna have to, uh, I probably will never see that here, but um, that's cool to know that they have that flavor. Olivia's drinking a berry propel. I've never heard of that one. Uh, Nintendo's got a, a Diet Dr. Pepper. I was sad to learn it's hard to come by in Japan, but apparently Costco has it. Oh, nice. Yeah, they have like normal Dr. Pepper. Um, even the vending machine outside of my apartment building has normal Dr. Pepper. But I've never seen Diet or um, any other flavor. I've never, well, A&W I've seen, but you have to go to like, like an import store or something like that. Jim and Harriet say, how about a Bologna, Bologna burger? Um, sounds kind of good. Is that eating like just like a brick of bologna between some hamburger patties? <laughs> hamburger buns? Sounds kind of good. Cherry Dr. Pepper sounds good. Uh, back in the clay, has got some unsweetened green tea. Ito en. Nice. Anella says, I take Coke Zero and add vanilla and cherry juice and add coffee ice cream. That sounds like an amazing cocktail. Oh, Propel is just flavored water. Oh, is that like a vitamin water, kind of? Uh, Yamino says, I saw monster energy drink in Japanese vending machines. Yeah, it's, it's fairly common to see that. Barks, I have not had barks in like 10 years or more. Not since I lived in the States. That's some good stuff, Greg. I was definitely a barks fan show. There's a tunnel here. We've got some art on here. Kind of random like fashion designs and stuff and confident colors. This is actually kind of cool. I like this part here because it's natural um, just like drippage from rain from the bridge above and it drips down like this, and then it's just going right on her. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Interesting with the baby though, this is a creepy baby. Oh, we've got a collie here, hello. That is uh, Inu number five. Yay, border collie. Inu number five. Walking under the sakura with live chat. How are y'all? Caitlin who? Long time no see. How are you? Is it like a Banksy? Kinda, yeah. I, I wonder if that was unintentional to put that woman like right there underneath that like dripping stuff. Yeah, if you get root beer, glass bottle is always the way to go. Nice view. You can see some of the petals falling here. Uh, Jim and Harriet with the $5 say A&W root beer. Miss it. Yeah, hearts in chat for Jim and Harriet. Arigato gozaimasu. It's a Spanxy. Oh, got it. So 
So here's vending machines, three of them. Uh, these look like Coca-Cola ones. These are all very generic stuff. Coke, Aquarius, water, tea. Um, I'm gonna hold out. We're gonna go to a different vending machine. Wow. Very pretty here. Look at all this. Uh, Michael Cameron says, just got back from Puerto Rico. They had this vitamin drink that looked like a cola. It was so nasty. Oh, no. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that story was going to be nice, and it ended up not being nice. I'm so sorry. What was the name of it? Yep, trash outside the bin. I love, um, on the sakura tree, I love these like little baby branches that come out and then they bloom. I love that. Water seems a bit mucky. Yeah, um, it rained like the other night, not last night, but the night before it rained. And then before that it was raining like quite a few days in a row. Um, so I feel like a lot of this is just kind of that murky rainwater left over from that time. The Caribbean, yeah, it's like a lot of kind of weird like watered down stuff. What is that Jamaican beer with the white and red label? I forget what it's called, but that one is like, yeah, it's, it's a different, I guess, vibe. Wow. Sakura, Sakura. Red Stripe, that's it. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't remember what it was. I haven't seen it in like 10 years. Yeah, Red Stripe. Yeah, that one's kind of like a watery beer. Yeah, hooray for beer. Oh yeah, I forgot about that commercial. Wow, there's a lot of people over here. Ah, oh, looks so nice. Still at Megudo River? Yeah, this is the Megudo River. Hello! Hey, nice. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> So nice. Yeah, Kelsey, it's like the majority of them, of tourists have no masks, especially the ones from Western countries. I've noticed uh, those from like more Asian countries still wear masks. Ah, uh, pretty. Yeah, well, you know, there's really not much you can do about it. Um, tourists, you know, the border's open. As soon as the tourists were able to come in, they just weren't wearing masks, even though the government and hotels and other places were like, please wear a mask. But there's no penalty if you don't. So people are just like, what are you going to do? Arrest me? No. So they just don't wear masks. And now Japan completely lifted any mask mandate. So... Um, Tourists are definitely like, well, there's no mask mandate. Why do I have to wear a mask? So, yeah, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do. Pandemic's not over, but apparently it is to a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> As I walk by foreigners with no masks, I hope they heard me. Oh, there's some guys. With Yeah, we're kind of coming to the end of the, the Sakura viewing area for the Megudo River. We're like almost near Megudo Station, so I'll kind of like 
meander around there, zigzag around the Megodo station, and then wrap it up. So we got like 20 minutes, guys. Uh, Blue Adventuring KKL, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Says, uh, so pretty. Would you please let me know if the trees, flowers are giving a sweet aroma in the air? So I just talked about this maybe 20 minutes ago, 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, Sakura really has no fragrance. There's no nothing. It doesn't smell like anything. So walking down this whole pathway just now, like with all of these trees and whatnot, nothing, zero, zero smell. Just smells like clean, fresh air, like no, nothing sweet, nothing floral at all. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Let me go up to this old bridge here. There's a pretty old bridge right here, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. I've said pretty and bridge like multiple times just now. Sounds pretty weird. Yo, Tokyo Paul in the house, how are you? Uh, Home Goal Roxy, thank you for telling people to give the video a thumbs up. Appreciate that. Yeah, this is the Meguro Shinbashi, um, Meguro New Bridge. Kathy3 says, 178 watching. Let's get to 150 likes before end of the stream. Yeah, let's do it, guys. All right, let's get one last look down the Meguro River. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, this will probably be our last view of Sakura for this year, guys. Uh, won't be many Sakura at all. Um, my, my prediction is like the majority of it is going to be on the ground. There might be some still like, you know, hanging out, but it's not going to be like this. So this is our last chance. Yay. So cool. Very pretty. Ah, nice. Yeah, um, it actually does continue down just a little bit further. Not too much. Oh, there's a love hotel. Look at that. It's like a castle. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. This, uh, this road goes up, it goes back towards Meguro Station. And there's a kind of a covered awning area over here with some restaurants and stuff. Actually, we've walked here before. I think on a live stream once, and I did a walking video as well. But uh, we're gonna walk this way again and just kind of look around at stuff. So what did you guys think? What did you guys think of uh, the Meguro River? and all the cherry blossoms. And if you're watching the recorded version, like leave a comment down below. Let me know. Okay, here's a vending machine. We've got green tea, more tea, uh, vitamin water. There's peach flavored vitamin water, sparkling lemon flavored water, just normal water fruits tea we've got black coffee um, oh some hot drinks hojicha here's a honey lemon tea looks like co uh, coffee there's some apple drink Megado is always a crowd pleaser yeah I agree uh, Jason says hit that and uh, hit that like and subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel so you don't miss any videos and live streams we're less than 5k away from 100k subscribers to spread the word yes thank you Mahalos, Jason. The fruits tea? Do you guys want to, do you want me, want me to get the fruits tea? Get the one with milk. Jason, I know you know that I'm lactose intolerant. Let's do it for the lulls. Just kidding. 
Um, Nintendo says, is there a way to tell the difference between a love hotel and a typical one outside of insane prices, I guess? Uh, yeah, yeah, usually when you go, uh, well, first of all, the decorations of the hotel themselves is always like absurd, like some kind of weird like castle or just some weird like funky, crazy designs on the outside. And then they usually have um, a sign that says like, like their like rates. And so you'll see there's like a three hour rate or two hour rate, um, overnight rate. Yeah. So normal hotels don't advertise their price outside of the hotel. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's get the fruits tea. Looks like chat wants that. Uh, this is 140 yen fruits tea. Sorry, getting my coins out here. Okay. Uh. Oh my god. What's the rate for 13 minutes? Is that your record? Your all time record? Mine's 13 seconds. I think it's like I would have to just stand in the doorway of the, the Love Hotel. Alright, 140 in. Let's get it. I'll just stand in the in the doorway and I'll just be like, yeah, um, time to get my, my mm on and then by the time I end that sentence, um, I will have jizzed in my pants. Yep, so this is a Craft Bros Fruits Tea. Yeah, this is a Craft Boss Coffee, sorry, uh, Boss Coffee um, vending machine. So it's funny, it's like a hundred, like from a hundred yen, but this is 140 yen. Martha says, what's the rate for two minutes? That was my ex-husband's max. Damn, I don't even know. At that point, you know, he needs to be paying you for wasting your time. Oh, there's a miniature pincher across the street about to cross. So that is dog number six, Inu number six. Yeah, I'm gonna go somewhere kind of over here and uh, drink this drink with you guys. So before we walked underneath that awning, that red awning there, there's like some ramen shops and other like izakaya restaurants and stuff. So I just wanted to show you that real quickly, but we're gonna, we're gonna just kind of venture around like some side street stuff over here. We've got like a... Inu Roku. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nintendo says my uh, cat is watching with me and feels underrepresented. I know, I'm so sorry. I'm hoping that we spot like one cat back here. Um, maybe we'll see a street cat. I've always got my, uh, my eyes peeled, looking for the puss puss. Oh, is there something about Mel? What did she say? I missed it. Uh, oh, you're popping off because of your migraine. Okay, Mel, please, please get some sleep. I hope you feel better. I'm sorry that you have a migraine again. That sucks. But yeah, we'll see you in Discord, okay? See you, Raiders. All right, I see like a little wall right here. We can post up for a second. Oh, there's more views of the Sakura over there. Should I just go over there? Should we just have like a Sakura background while I drink this fruit tea? That might, that might be nice. Um, Sate says, have you met any non-walking streamer YouTubers whilst, whilst on your walks? Um, uh, no? Not that I can think of. Um, oh, it's really nice over here. There's like nobody. Yeah, maybe I can just sit right on this little stool thing. Oh wow, it's it's falling. She has a kimono.
yeah, um, let's see. Let me, let me set this up here so I can talk to you guys. I will have like a sakura falling in the background. So what is fruits tea? It's just, uh, it's tea with different fruit. You can see there's like apple and orange and peach and stuff like that. It's just, yeah, fruit flavored tea. It's a mix, five different fruits. Yeah, peach, orange, pineapple, apple, mango. Yeah, that's it. Does it, I'm trying to see, does it look like uh, the sakura's falling? Yeah, maybe this is okay. Is this okay? I have to kind of hold it outwards. Maybe that's okay. I don't know, it's kind of kind of awkward. Let me open up this drink real quick. Uh, did we reach 150 likes? Thanks guys, arigato. I'm trying to do it one-handed without spilling all over my crotch. Uh, Auntie L, how are you? Says, uh, konnichiwa. Oh, I like that tea aromatic. Ooh, yeah. So here we go, fruits tea by Craft Boss. Wow, it smells like it smells like Lipton brisk iced tea, the lemon one. But there's also, of course, the other flavors in there. So it's kind of got that like brisk iced tea smell to it. It's good. It's subtle. It's not like juice. I'm not, I don't, I don't feel like I'm drinking juice. I feel like I'm drinking sweet tea. Uh, Jason says, am I supposed to be able to read what your hat says? Yes, you are. If you are a fan of Evangelion, you should be able to read what this says. <laughs> For the Evangelion nerds. Ah, it's really good. It's very refreshing. It's, it's sweet. I'm not going to lie. It is definitely sweet. Really, Sasha, did it change? I used to drink the brisk, um, the brisk iced teas one uh, in a can, like 20 years ago, something like that. Yeah, it's Tokyo 3. And this is the, the fictional Tokyo city that um, in the Evangelion movies uh, and show, it's located in Hakone area. So they, they make a third Tokyo and that's kind of what this is. No fun in telling the rest of them what it says. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I have to say it because I know a lot of people are just going to be like, we, we have no idea what that means. So I'm just going to say what it is. Uh, fungus in the house. What's up? Laurie, how are you? Yeah, what's going on? Um, we've got about 10 minutes, yeah, seven minutes, 10 minutes. I'm going to um, take one more sip of this and then we'll head up towards uh, Meguro Station. Ah, It's really good. I do recommend it. Pure leaf lemon tea is my favorite now. I've never heard of that. Pure leaf. Jason says, I haven't drank sweet tea in almost 25 years. Never did sit right with me. Yeah, like, how can I say? Uh, brisk iced tea, the lemon one. I think that's like the only sweet tea that I drank in the States. Um, Arizona iced tea, like Arizona, that's just all trash to me. Um, and even here in Japan, like I just don't drink sweet tea. Like I, I love, you know, green tea, hoji cha, um, mugi cha. Like I just like normal tea. <laughs> Hold on, let me try to put this in my bag real quick. Uh, I should probably just put it in my pocket. Okay, let's uh, let's continue the walk. All right, so. Uh, this will be the last of Megodo stream that we see for this year, guys. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you next time. All right, let me go up this way. Yeah, I want to taste like the tea leaves, you know, I want to taste each flavor, like the leaf flavor as it is, you know, on unchanged by sugar or other stuff like milk and creamer and whatever. Uh, did someone just leave? 
I missed it. Uh, Martha says, you are so cool, Corey. Really, thanks for making my evening so much better. You're welcome, Martha. I don't know if I'm cool, but I'm glad that uh, this live stream could help you. Is this, are we on the wide angle? There we go. I was like, something's weird. We were not on the wide angle. Uh, Jason says, I think after this uh, third and final season of Picard, chamomile tea will be my new favorite among Star Trek fans, surpassing Earl Grey. Really? Really? No way. You know, it's funny, um, I hadn't drank Earl Grey for a very long time. And then uh, when I started, uh, when Picard started, I started drinking Earl Grey again. Um, I mean, I had Earl Grey on Saturday. Yeah, I drink it quite often. But chamomile surpassing Earl Grey? Ooh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. It sounds good, though. Chamomile's good. It helps helps you sleep. Oh, oh, I, uh, Meg. Okay, when, not Meguro. Okay, I was confused. I'm like, is there someone named Meg in chat? Y'all got me. Hey, Robert, how are you? Chamomile tea would send your asthma into overdrive. Damn, Sherry, that sounds bad. It sounds like an allergic reaction, to be honest. All right, let's go this way. There's a huge hill over here that we're gonna go up. Actually, hold on. Um, I think I need to go up this huge hill. Megado Station is on top of a huge hill. Cherry green tea? All right, that, just get out. You're a band. You are banned for drinking cherry green tea. Uh, Star Trek Next Generation and Picard probably propelled the sales of Earl Grey globally. Uh, I wonder, yeah. Japan sells Earl Grey, um, of course, like the hot tea packs, but also uh, bottled, cold bottled Earl Grey tea. I usually drink the cold one. Earl Grey hot. Make it so. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch season three. It's too busy uh, finishing Homeland. I recently got into um, a bunch of kind of spy espionage drama types things like uh, Jack Ryan and whatnot. And then I uh, got into Homeland with Claire Danes. So now I'm uh, finishing up season seven, then I have season eight, and then I think I'm caught up. I think the show ended, I don't know. Oh, I heard a dog. <laughs> there's a, there's a doggy. Oh, it's a, it's a Cocker Spaniel. It's, she's like so excited to go for a walk. I'm excited. Walking time, yay. That's Inu number, was it seven? What time is it? It's a uh, it's 11:29, Monday, almost lunchtime, y'all. Um, Robert says doing great. Had birthday last month. Went surfing. Nice. Happy belated birthday. And surfing is always fun. I love surfing. Uh, Jim and Harriet say, how about Yorkshire tea from uh, Yorkshire tea from the UK? Yeah, they, they sell that brand um, here. They have it in Japan. Um, Yorkshire tea, yeah, it's okay. I think it's a, it's a classic. Uh, Kiana says, do you have Netflix? I have a recommendation. Unfortunately, no. I don't, I don't pay for my streaming stuff. I'm a pirate selling the seas of the internet. 223 watching. Welcome, welcome everybody. Yeah, we're gonna be ending the stream here any minute. Um, once I get to Megado Station, 
But look at this. I love the, the big building and it's got the blue sky and clouds reflecting off of it. Uh, Homegirl Roxy says, can you have pets, Corey? Unfortunately, no. My, um, my building is not pet friendly. Yo ho ho in hiragana, that's funny. Yo ho ho and o botoru ovuramu. Nakameguro uh, fungus, what's up? Yeah, we uh, we started at Nakameguro and then walked down the river. And now I'm at Meguro Station. It was nice. But it's probably the last time we can see the sakura this season. Ads are about 30 minutes apart. Okay, yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. Yep, so we are at Meguro Station. So there's like the old west exit over here. It's an older one. And then they have kind of a newer one at the basement area of this building here, this big building. So, um, I'm going to probably go into this building and use the restroom after streaming. I have to use the potty. But let me zoom in and show you guys uh, over there like what the, the old west exit looks like from a distance. Uh, Pink T says, I'm seeing big old maps. Are they just in... Oh, God. Thanks, truck. <laughs> thanks, Coca-Cola. Trying to get that free advertising. Um, yeah, the big maps, uh, they show the local area. They do have English on them. Let me show you. There's a, there's a map over here. Oh, there's a dog. Uh, it's like, save the dogs. So they have it in um, Japanese, Korean for the main station. And then uh, for the other places, it's just Japanese and English. Yeah, this is um, a guy trying to do thing uh, like get rid of the killing of dogs and cats, like euthanization and stuff. So he's basically trying to help old dogs find a forever home. So, um, in the arms of an angel. All right, we okay? We okay, chat? Yo, Max, welcome, welcome. We're like just about to end the stream here. So yeah, I'm at Megado Station, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, stop the stream. I'm gonna use the restroom. And then I'm gonna meet a Moist Fan member friend who is uh, visiting Tokyo right now. So um, I just wanna say thank you so much to all of you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had a really good time checking out the Meguro River. Um, very beautiful sakura. Uh, hopefully we can catch, you know, more next week, but I don't know. I, I feel like the majority of them will be like already fallen onto the ground. But yeah, uh, make sure you give the video a like. Thanks to all of you guys for asking questions and hanging out. Um, hearts and chat to all the mods. Mods are always awesome. Thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, thank you for asking questions and just keeping me company and always making these live streams awesome. Yeah, and uh, yeah, thank you to the donos as well. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, I will see you guys next time. Okay, take care of yourselves. Have a great week. Otsukare sama. Yep, thank you, thank you. Bye bye. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Otsukare. Jane, mata kondo ne. Otsukare. Bye bye. Bye bye.